Warriors in his first year. Still unreal. Green, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Crawford comes in for J.J. Reddick. Andre Iguodala, he's checked in for Golden State. Livingston comes in for Steph Curry. Los Angeles shooting their second and third free throws tonight. And for Kerr, so much was made of how much pressure he had to face to get the Warriors to improve. Inheriting that team from Mark Jackson, Greg, that was a good point. He, he passed that test, though, Clark, I think, with flying colors. Well, first time that a rookie head coach has won a title since the NBA's inception. I think that says it all right there. What a year for the Warriors. Clark won their division for the first time in 39 years, ran away with the very tough Western Conference. And there were a number of surprises last season, Kevin, but the Warriors were at the top of the list. I mean, I don't think anybody, including you and I, pegged them to be as good as they were. Especially the way the finals began. Exactly. And the Warriors making a change here. Azili's checked in. You're not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. The shot by Pierce will not go. And the Warriors won 51 games back in 2014 and proved that mark by 16 wins last season. Among teams that won at least 50 games in the previous year, that 16-game improvement was an NBA record for the Warriors. This is my ball. And Kevin, who says a point guard should look to pass first? I mean, not when you can finish like this fellow. Well, Clark, he wasn't going to give that opportunity up to a teammate. Well, you know, Kevin, that's one he'll always take himself, and he should. I mean, you can't pass up that kind of opportunity or fun. And here in the early going, missed free throws starting to become the storyline. Yeah, and as a coaching staff, you feel helpless here. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. You just hope they snap out of the, out of the rut. Here's Rivers. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Wow, the floor just really opened up for him on that possession. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for good offense, but that was just a terrible reaction from the defense. And we reached the end of the first quarter. Clippers lead by five. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game. How it's been going for the Clippers. Early on, guys, excellent work on the boards here. I mean, you got to like those second chance points they're getting. Yeah, the other thing, though, is they have attacked in the open floor. They're definitely getting a lot of easy ones that way. Paul and Crawford pair up at the one and two. Green is up there with Johnson, and it's Jordan in at the center. They're the group out there for the Clippers starting the second quarter. Maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable dunks. Yeah, and, and when he's got a lead like that, why not take a few chances? A lot more engaging and entertaining than just doing the old ho-hum one-handed. And it's going to be a three-second call for the Clippers. Griffin comes in for Jeff Green. And J.J. Redick is subbed in for Jamal Crawford. Here's Livingston. Excellent D there by Johnson. Clippers leading by five. And he goes in for the dunk. Whoa. Whoa. That'll wake you up. <laughs> is he an athlete or what? No doubt about it. It's almost as if he lives in the air, and dunks like that have become quite commonplace. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Yeah, it's got to be concerned with all the missed shots here, and every team goes through cold streaks. You just got to figure out a way to stay productive. And the best way to do that when you're missing shots is to get to the foul line. Be aggressive, get to the foul line, and knock down some of those freebies, and the tide can turn for you.
Jamal Crawford, he's checked in for the Clippers. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Last season, the Clippers came away with the third seed out west. They were very tough in conference and managed to get 37 of their 56 wins against Western Conference teams. Warriors trailed by nine. It's Thompson off the drive. And it's blocked by Jordan. The Warriors do their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And that one misses. And he can't hit the second. And, and really, the Warriors had an amazing regular season last year. Just from a historical standpoint, it was one of the best ever. Iguodala's drive. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Yeah, that's a tough call right there, and, and really a tough break for the D. Greg, no problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. Here's Thompson. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. And for the Warriors last year, they would end the season with 67 wins. That number, Clark, tying for the sixth best win total in NBA history. And my guess is only a few people saw it coming. I mean, as the season wore on, it became more and more apparent that the Warriors were for real, but it took a while for people to accept that fact. Iguodala. Off the left rim and out. Great looking defense, really, just to disrupt the rhythm on that shot. Yeah, really turned it from a simple, straightforward look into a very difficult shot. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And oh. hammering down with the two handed slam. Just piling on the lead with the dunk like that. Out to the right wing. Paul for three. But they'll get another chance. For a second effort, Blake Griffin again. And now an 11-point Clipper lead. And the defense just gets caught standing around that time and giving up the second-chance opportunity. You know, that just can't happen. They need much more effort than that on the glass. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. Yeah, maybe a change of the game plan right now, looking at some different sets because of the matchup. Yeah, I agree with you because they're looking to tweak things to maybe get those matchups working in their favor. Well, with the season the Warriors put together, they came out way ahead of everybody else in the West. I mean, given how tough the West was last year, that makes their 67-win season all the more impressive. One of the best in history in my mind. Substitution here for the Clippers. Cole Aldrich, he's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Pierce comes in for Blake Griffin. Green, he's checked in for Wesley Johnson. And it's Rivers in for Paul. Warriors took apart the West last season. They went 42 and 10 against the rest of the conference. The games between them and second place and the West were the same as the games between second place and eighth in the West. And, and the Warriors didn't just pick on the little guys. I mean, they had big wins over the top teams in the West. Against the rest of the playoff teams, the Warriors were a whopping 20 and 5. Los Angeles leading by seven. Here's Rivers. The rebound by Azili. Azili's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Barnes. Rejected by Pierce. The Clippers have gone 5 of 12 from the field here in the second. Aldrich the pass to Crawford. Pierce attacking. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. Defender a little hesitant to offer resistance as he bursts to the hoop. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession.
LA's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Rivers dishes to Crawford. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Crawford's got the lead up to 11 now for the Clippers. Wasted no time on that one. And that's now eight points for Steph Curry. You know, I don't think that was a shot they had in mind, but they'll take it. Crawford drives in. Ripped away. Now the Warriors moving it up. Livingston is running. That's good from Barnes on the assist by Livingston. Assisting. Six points for Barnes. Boy, after having a tough time in the first, he's managed to turn it around nicely this quarter. Here's Rivers. A three-pointer off the mark. It's good, and the Clipper the lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Barnes. Here's Rivers. What a play! He simply drains it in at the bucket. And that does it for the first half of play. The Clippers on top. They're up by seven. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. second half just about to get going here Jamal Crawford really making a difference here and he just went off in those first two quarters guys he's capable of doing that on a consistent basis as well so we might see some changes from a defensive standpoint as they try to disrupt his rhythm in the second half you know guys I think you've got to make some sort of change I mean they can't let him continue to torch him up like